Hi guys, it's your friendly Asian buddy Ryan. I'm a vapor and I'm starting to review vape products. So this is like my second time doing review. My first review was the Lost Vapes and Taurus. So right now I have with me it's the Juggernaut V2 RTA by QP Designs. So if you want to see more of me, please comment down below on what you want me to review next. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So here we go. So here is the packaging for Juggernaut V2 Dual Coil Top Airflow RTA by QP Design. So inside the packaging you'll see a big writing here that says Juggernaut V2. Um, their signature. You got your sticker, your user manual, and your authentication card. And inside you'll see a ring band, it says QP Design, a bubble tank, an extra drip tip, and some spares. So you'll see here you've got some extra rubber juice hole spare, an allen key, a flathead screwdriver, some rubber o-rings and some extra screws so let's take a look at the tank itself here you will see the juggernaut the RTA it says juggernaut V2 RTA QP design serial number 1310 hmm looking really nice I like the clear drip tip, you know. All right, so let's take a look inside. So you'll see the build deck. There's like a really huge space over here. It seems like the build deck itself is 22 millimeters. And you'll see it stays right here. So you don't have to worry about your juice coming out whenever you have to rewick the cotton or rebuild the deck itself. So you'll see. So you see. They said that, that there's a triple channel airflow to the coils. So basically, your airflow is going to come out right off here and then right out that two little holes over there. So there's one there, so there's air coming to the side and there's coming to the top. And if you look at the build deck, you'll see over here that there's air gonna be airflow coming through the bottom of your coils so yeah it's basically like three airflows coming right in through the coils so the one on the top the one on the side and the one at the bottom so come on um, let's build on it and let's see how easy this not, let's see how easy to build this one before I forgot, you'll see that there's like a tape right inside the chamber. So you have to remove this one. This really sticky. See. Alright. So th this is a clip top cap for fast and easy filling. So you see you got your extra um, rubber spare for here. Once it gets dirty or, or lost, you always have some extra spare for it. So that's a good idea. So that's basically it. Look at the machining, really wonderful, 
Really great machining on this one. Really nice. Look. The machining is like so perfect already. This is a good quality RTA, you know. So this... I don't think you can remove this. This is very, very stiff, you know. Yep, I can't remove this one. So I basically think that this comes as a whole. Yep. So yeah, I can basically can remove any parts from this. So what I'm going to do is Let's do some build. directly on the earth flow over here you want the air to be directly touching the coils so here your cotton yes you don't want it to be like over here you just want your cotton to be sitting right there so you'll have um, more juice flow and you won't get any dry heats just basically cut them right over the here not too long and not too short So I think I'm going to long. So I think I'm going to sure. See, this is where I want my cotton to be. So the camera could focus right over there. It's just basically sitting right there. Yep. So let's put on some juice and we'll vape on it and I'll give you guys my thoughts. I 
I'm using this loaded cookie butter. Enjoy more at loadedejuice.com. Let's see. I have to saturate the cotton first. Mm, this one smells really nice. So I got the 0.11 ohm. I'm beeping it at 44, maybe 45 watts. I know I'm not that much of a big heater. Alright. Then the tank itself. Mm, look at that. Looking pretty sexy with the Odin. Oh, it's a, an easy top cap. I really love it. It's not like, like it is not like a quarter turn, but you know it is an easy top cap. See. Mmm, look at that juice go. Alright. The airflow has a stopper, which is good. Alright. So here, here you have it, your cube. P Juggernaut V2 So there you have it the Juggernaut V2 RTA So what do you like what do you not like pros and cons For me there's not much about cons The cons would be the top cap You have to be really careful when taking it off make sure that you don't um unscrew unscrew the chamber as well or else you'll just get the leaks everywhere you know and that, that's it basically everything is just pros you know the, the looks the quality the machining everything looks perfect everything goes well you've got extra spare bubble glass tank you've got some clear drip tip that is a pro the three channeled airflows that is a pro so yeah everything is just basically a pro on here I like the restrictive um, the restrictive hit you know everything is just pro see looks really good 28 millimeter AT huge build deck easy to weak easy to build pro pro yeah, it goes really well. 28 millimeter pro. It could be a con for it, um anyone, but for me it's a pro. You know, just you don't. It just won't fit with your smaller mods. Everything is just looking really good. So yeah, it just released in Canada. I just checked QP's website, it's already sold out. So I think there's more other shops that carry this mod. I, I mean, this, that carry this RTA. But would you recommend it? Would you suggest it? Yes. It's a really good RTA for me. It really looks sexy as well, you know. You can see over there, looks really, really sexy. It's a huge win for me. Flavor is really good. It's a little bit on the noisy side, but it's not that noisy. I, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. Oof. 
but still it has smooth airflow but flavor how would you rate this flavor from 9 to 10 flavor is really good I'll give it 9.5 the overall RTA I'll give I'll give this a 9 if it's not just about the top cup it's more likely go with a 10 but you know nothing could go wrong with this RTA you know on um, top airflow you won't get any leaks at all never and wow the flavor is just amazing 9.5 you know it's on par with the blotto I think the blotto is more restrictive but yeah this is restrictive as well you know you can see I got them fully open and if I put it into half open it still goes really 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 restrictive so yeah the fully open is already rest restrictive and the halfway open is just too restrictive for me but overall this is a good RTA I highly recommend it so that's it it's your friendly Asian buddy keep it stoked man bye